Okay, another application with differentials is by calculating percentage error. So that's what we're going to do on this problem. We're given the radius of the sphere normally is 6 centimeters, and we have an error of 3%, which means that our measurement might be off by uh, 3%. The volume of the sphere is to be calculated from this measurement, so we're going to calculate it based off of the error. And basically what we're trying to figure out here is if, I, if I'm off by 3%, when I measure the radius, what's that going to cause for percentage error in the actual volume calculation of the whole thing? Okay, so let's see how much that we're going to be off if we uh, use the volume with 3%. Okay, so in order to do that, we have to use the volume of the sphere formula. So that's V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, what we want to use on this one. So again, I'll either provide that form formula for you or you can look it up. We want to take the derivative because my dv, that's going to be my change in volume, what the difference is going to be when I'm using the 3%. So basically, so, so essentially, it's basically going to be the, uh, the volume calculated with, with that error. So when I do the derivative, I'm going to do dv dr, okay, the volume with respect to the radius. When I do that, 3 comes down here, I get 4 pi r squared by using the power rule in that case. And if I multiply both sides by dr, I get dv by itself is gonna be four pi r squared dr. Now why are we using a derivative on this? Because we gotta get a differential out of it. We need to know what dr is because that dr is gonna, we're gonna calculate that based off of the 3%. So how do we do that? Well dr is, we're gonna take basically the original six centimeters we have, and we're gonna multiply it by 0.03, which would be 3% as a decimal. And if we multiply that out, that means we'll get uh, 0.18. Okay, so 0.18 centimeters, that's gonna be our difference in the radius with the error that we have. So that's what we gotta do derivative here because we need to know that uh, dr. Okay, so I have dv is equal to four pi, now my normal radius, it's got to be 6, but then we're multiplying it by this error that we have here in the radius, which is going to be 0.18. Okay, we're going to put that into a calculator, and we're going to get our dv. So dv is going to equal 25.92 pi. If you use a calculator, that's the, the error that we have there. Now, if you want to find out how this compares to the, uh, the volume of the regular sphere, we're going to go back and we'll use the original one here, 4 thirds pi, and I'm going to put in a 6 for the radius, and that will give me what my regular one's supposed to be, and I'll just basically take this amount divided by the regular amount, and that will tell me, tell me how much error that I have with this. So if I put all this, uh, work that out, I'm going to get 288 pi, and again, this would be centimeters cubed here. So I'm going to take uh, this and divide it, so for my percent error is going to equal 25.92 pi divided by 288 pi. And then when I divide all this, that's going to give me a, a 0.09. And so that means that my percent error is going to be 9%. So what that means is that if I'm off by 3% on the measurement of my radius, when I calculate the volume, that means I'm going to be off by roughly 9%.